everyone. This is Ishani again with IV Professional School. Welcome to IV Professional School's YouTube channel. Today we are going to take a topic in Power BI and a very interesting topic of slices. I'm sure most of you know what slices do for us. Basically, they are an interactive filters that we can apply on our visualization. So over here, if you see, I have already created a bar chart where I've got the subcategory wise profits. And then I've also plot, plotted the trend of the profit on the month and the year basis. But now let's say we want to understand this data of how the subcategory profit and the trend is varying as per the countries. Then how we will do it. So we want to put an interactive filter on this visualization. And that is done through slices. So I'm going to click in this white area. Click over here on slices. I'm going to adjust this placeholder a little bit. And what do I want to analyze this data based on is country. So I'll go ahead and drop country in it. Now you see what it has done is it has given me a list of countries. And since the name of the countries is more as compared to the area available, there is a small scroller out over here. So if I don't want the scroller in my uh, slicer, what are the other ways that I can improvise this thing? So another way is if you see there's a drop down, and if I have a large amount of uh, values in the list, then I can instead of creating or showing it as a list, I can create it as a drop down. As a result of making it a drop down, what it helps me to do is it creates a smaller area for my filters. And then I can click on the drop down, look at all the values over here. Again, there's a scroller over here, and then pick and choose what I want. Right now, this is one way of creating a drop down or a slicer. This is one way of doing it, which is a list. Sometimes you must have seen the slicers coming up as smaller boxes and a person is able to click on the box and filter the data below. So how do we get that style of slicer? So while the slicer is selected, I'm going to go in the formatting. Over here in the slicer setting, you see right now the orientation is vertical. I'm going to click and convert the orientation to horizontal. As soon as I did that, if you notice, it has converted into box now. So if I'm going to expand this thing, all my countries are not fitting in. I'm going to expand it a little bit more, and there you go. The entire slicer has been converted into smaller boxes with the name of countries. And now if I want to click on South Korea, this gives me the understanding of data of South Korea versus Nepal versus Japan versus India. So a little better in terms of, uh, you know, having a drop down or a list and having a scroller. So this looks a little better. But then again, there are a lot of restrictions in terms of uh, do I have so much space that I can have two rows of only showing the countries in my dashboard or not. Today, my main motto is just to show you the various type of slicers we can create. There's one more type of slicers that we'll talk about now. And one more thing to add on this value that uh, when you selected the slicer in the slicer setting, you're only going to get the vertical and horizontal setting. If it is a list, if it's a drop down, then you might not get this option itself. Now, this is one type of slicers. Now, when it comes to numbers and dates, we do not want a list. We do not want a drop down. We definitely don't want those boxes over here. So how do we want it? We want it in a form of a slider. So how do we create a slider? I'm going to select this white space over here. Click on my slicer. Placeholder gets created. I will go ahead and drop the order date. Now, as soon as I drop the order date, it by default creates a slider. In case it is not creating a slider for you, click on the drop down over here and choose between. When you click on between, it gives you an option of creating a slider which you can manipulate from both the sides. And in case you choose the other options like before, so you will see only one side of the slider is active. After the other side of the slider is active, now the right side is deactivated. 
and so and so forth. So you can have a list, you can have a drop down, but in my opinion, it doesn't make much sense to have a list or a drop down. Best is to use between and look at the date formats. And over here, you can type in the dates or when you click on the calendars, it gives you an access to a proper date picker, the calendars that we have. And that eases our work of picking a date and then finding or looking at the visualization between the two dates. Just like how we created a slider for our dates, we can also create sliders for numbers. So that's about in this video. Just a quick recap what we did. We learned about slices and in slices, we spoke about different ways we can present it when it comes to showing categorical data like countries, product names, category names, subcategories. We can either show it as a list, we can show it as a drop down. When we have a list, we can show it as a vertical list or we can go over here and convert it into a horizontal list, which gives you, which converts it into uh, boxes, kind of a, you know, small shapes where you can select it. When it comes to creating filters using dates and numbers, then we prefer this kind of visualization, which is called a slider. I hope you enjoyed this video. Looking forward to making more videos on Power BI. If you can think of any topic that you would want me to create a video, please write it in the comment below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.